Sgt. Pepper album, the Beatles formed a partnership known as Apple Corps. Shortly thereafter came the opening of the ill-fated Apple Boutique. The store provided a wide variety of items, but due to financial losses, the boutique was forced to close its doors within a year. Another hippie happening in the psychedelic social center. And the beautiful people of London made their flower power way to Beatles, George and John's with it, Aladdin's Cave. Only they call it Apple. It's a new kind of boutique in Baker Street, catering for specialized tastes. George and John described their new venture as a kind of psychedelic Garden of Eden for lovers of hippie gear with all the trappings of beautiful living. After explaining that, George thought he'd take it easy. He was lucky he could find the chair. So he settled back to listen to the latest kind of shop-warming music as played by the group who designed the store. They call themselves The Fool. They thought it was divine, like everything else in the three-story psychedelic supermarket. Cilla Black was among the top shop warmers. So was Kenneth Tynan. There were lots of others we didn't recognize. Sherlock Holmes used to live in Baker Street. Perhaps he could have identified them. But the Beatles found it all very elementary. That shop business. A rolling stone's throw from Orchard Street, it's the Apple, the Beatles' new boutique. To mark the opening, the proud owners gave an apple juice party. John Lennon and George Harrison were the hosts. The other two Beatles were out of town. Paul's in Liverpool and Ringo's in Rome. This jockey, Alan Freeman, talking to Silla Black. A later arrival, Richard Lester, director of the Beatles films, among a whole host of the in crowd. <laughs> sale will be books, jewelry, paintings and hippie clothes as well as furniture. A psychedelic cameraman on the apple juice kick. Among all the Beatles ventures, this one literally has a bite to it. Hello. 